friends subscribe the ask technology channel and hit the bell icon to get all new updates about ask technology's informative videos Hello friends, this is Ashish and you are watching Ask Technology. After 5S Kaizen Poke Yoke, today we will discuss about the 7 Kissy Tools. If you haven't watched any of the other videos, you can watch them now by finding every useful link in the description box. Today we will discuss about the 7 Kissy Tools, how we can use it and why these tools are used. I mean everything about 7 quality control tools. So guys, let's get started. Come back with the bang! So friends, let's start the 7QC tools. So the first question comes, what is 7QC tools? So 7QC tools are the basic quality control tools which helps in solving quality issues through data collection, analyzing data, identification of root cause and measuring results. So friends, these are the 7QC tools in which first one is check sheet, then cause and effect diagram or Ishikawa, then flow chart or stratification, then Pareto analysis, then control chart, then scatter diagram and then histogram. So friends, first of all, discuss what is check sheet. Check sheet is a simple document which is used for collecting and recording data in real time at the location where data is generated. For example, we can see a check sheet is given here in which a material or part is produced in X and Y shifts and ABCD are the problems or defect which is generated during production and these defect are occurred in several frequencies within time interval. So the purpose of check sheet is recording problems and the benefit of which is we will get it in easy format. So friends let us discuss about the cause and effect diagram which is also known as Ishikawa because it was introduced by the professor Ishikawa in Japan and it is also known as fishbone diagram because it resembles like fishbone. So friends in this we identify any cause of defect it means which are the reason for defect generation for example primary cause in this diagram is man machine material method and we try to identify the secondary causes it also may have tertiary causes and sub clauses so the purpose of generating ishikawa is to identify various causes affecting a process and also help in reaching a common understanding of a problem when we work as a team so friends after this let us talk about flowchart which is also known as stratification stratifications mean distribution flowchart is a type of diagram which represents any process step by step with the help of various kinds of box shapes and connected these with arrows for example a problem occur here lamp does not work a starting symbol is used here after that we are using decision making symbol in which we are look lamp is plugged in or not if not then we plugged in it if yes again we use decision making and we are checking our bulb is fused or not if yes then we have to replace it or if not then we have to repair lamp like this we use flowchart to show any process step by step so the purpose of flowchart is to give a virtual representation of process identify the step and material needed for process and also helps in quickly analyzing the process so friends after that let us discuss about the Pareto analysis which is an important tool of 7QC tools it is a bar chart in which we prioritize any action and arrange it in descending order as you can see here a Pareto chart in which on left side number of defects is written and here under some types of defects are shown in which dent defect has highest frequency and after that light dent and then shower gap and other are arranged in descending order and a red color line on upper side is shown cumulative frequency percentage this is how we do Pareto analysis it works on the 80 20 rule as our 80% problems occur due to the 20% causes. So in my next video, I will explain in detail about what is Pareto analysis and how we can create Pareto chart in Excel. So friends, the purpose of Pareto analysis is to short out the vital fuse from the travel many after that let us discuss about the control chart what is control chart so a control chart is a line graph used to display the variation on time ordered interval for example a control chart is mentioned below in which upper control limit is mentioned above and lower control limit is mentioned below in blue colors process average is mentioned in between these lines 
on left side measurements are given and time is mentioned at the bottom of the graph so we are measuring how our process is running in each interval of time a center line is given at the mid of the graph which analyzing pattern that how is our process is running with respect to center line so the purpose of control chart is to indicate whether process is in control or not and also ensure quality level of our product it is also helps to identify the dynamic or special causes of variation so friends after that let us discuss about the scatter diagram scatter diagram is a tool used to study the possible relationship between the two variables as you can see there is a scatter diagram here strength and air pressure is mentioned on the left side and bottom of the graph respectively here under pressure is increasing and here on the y axis strength is increasing so here you can see the relationship between them as we increase the air pressure strength is also increases so in scatter diagram we can study how a variable's value affect the other variable so the purpose of scatter diagram is to study whether a relationship between two variable exist or not and also shows the strength of that relationship as you can see different type of scatter diagram are mentioned here like abc in case a there is no correlation between variables in case b there might be possible positive correlation and in case c there is a strong positive correlation between variables so the main purpose of scatter diagram is to show correlation between two variables and how their trend goes so friends at last let us discuss about the histogram a histogram shows the variation within the process and it is also known as frequency distribution in which we identify frequency by height of the bar for example we can see a histogram of india and australia is given here in which x axis shows over and y axis shows runs per over and falling of wickets are also shown here in red dot bigger the bar more the runs are scored in that over so friends the purpose of histogram is to identify frequency distribution it shows that in which frequency have any event occurred in any interval of time for example you can see many histograms are here a general type of histogram is made with normal distribution a combo type is also there after that positive skew type is there at the bottom isolated peak type is also there because there is a gap both peaks have separated a twin peak type is also there like two buildings are standing opposite to each other thank you so friends this is all about 7 qc tools i hope all your doubts are cleared after watching this video if you like this video please click the like button if you want to ask me anything please do comment and share this video as much as possible for more informative videos please subscribe my channel and after subscribing don't forget to hitting the bell icon so friends see you in next videos till then keep learning keep growing and be technical